Chassel Unit 1, Activity 4 is asking what is the continuous connecting path that goes through the light bulb? And so some of this is a repeat, but uh, this is kind of an endangered species. Now this is the last incandescent light bulb that I could find in the house. And I broke the glass off of it and exposed a whole bunch of wire, <laughs> um, little pieces of wire. These two things here are called the supports. And they hold up this, which is, you know, working light bulb hole. And it's, uh, this is called the filament. This is the part that glows inside of the light bulb. Um, and this activity asks you to test different parts of the bulb to see if uh, their conductors are insulated. So here we go. This is the tip. We've done this one already. If I put one of these here, put another one right there on the tip. see the background there. Uh, the threaded section, this part here. And then the ring, this black ring between the tip and the threaded section. This touch here. Touch from there. Mm -hmm. You'll see that that is an insulator. that there. This here. Let's see, that does not light the bulbs. And then we can come in here. Let's see if we can get this to work. We test the filament. So there's the filament. before that the filament support so here's one here's the other one and then it wants to know which ones are connected so if I put this one this filament support to this filament support you'll see they're not connected Unless, let's see if I can do this. Unless I can make that bridge there with the filament. See that? Like when the filament is whole, they are connected. Okay. Um, and then from the left support, the left support to the tip. So if I take this left support here, push the tip down here. So you'll see. Left support to the threaded section. Here's the left support, and here's the threaded section. And you get that. Right support to the tip. So I'll put this here. Come down to the tip and I get this. There we go. Sorry, I had some issues with wires touching each other there. Um, and then the right support to the threaded section looks like that. So one more time. Support to support. You get nothing unless you touch things together with the filament. Left support to the tip. Left support to the threaded section. Ooh, that's different, right? Um, right support to the tip. Hmm. Right support to the threaded section. Okay, that second time through things were a little bit different because you can see that the, oops, the, the camera party and the filaments here was, was still connected. So that'll kind of help you out a little bit when you're trying to think about the connections in this light bulb. If you take a look, I'm not sure if you can see this, I can't get the light quite right, but if you can look at the, the cool thing about the light bulb is, uh, one of the things we talk about in science all the time is the, the relationship between structure and function. So how does this light bulb work and how is it built? to work that way. So we've got this tip here that is a conductor surrounded by this um, ceramic ring that is an insulator before this threaded section. So what that does is it separates, it separates this piece of metal from this piece of metal. And so you have to connect them 
with conductors, and if you take a look way down in there, I don't know if you can see it or not, right down in the center of that little, little white dot, this left support goes all the way down there to the tip, and the right support, you'll see, doesn't go down there, it goes just to that threaded section. Let's see if you can see that, there you go. Okay, so you can see the, the right support goes to this part here, and the left support goes all the way down to the bottom where it touches this metal tip.